Let's bring in former Trump campaign chief operating officer, Jeff DeWitt. Good to see you, Jeff. Great to see you, Liz. Thank you for having me. Sure. Now, Jeff, this is, is a big wake-up call for Democrats. You know, this intense anti-Trump hatred in protest marches. Mm -hmm. It's not enough. The Dems have been losing for seven years since 2010. You need policies that the working class voter likes and other voters like as well. What do you think? Right. And they've moved beyond even trying to promote policies and are just playing a game of obstruction. This wait was a, a huge message that was sent last night. Again, now the fifth message after Donald Trump uh, being elected was the big message uh, that the American public wants Donald Trump's policies and they want lawmakers that are going to work with President Trump. This is a massive win for the Trump camp. And this again shows that what the yeah. Democrats are doing is not what the American public wants. But here's what the Democrats are doing. We know that the Bernie Kratz and, and all the way to the third way Democrats, they're talking about a, quote, positive economic vision. It's okay to march for things like that if you have policies that will attract voters. Right. But, Jeff, there's a 90-degree angle that they're taking to the far left with policies that the voter doesn't want. Exactly. And that's been one of the reasons why Republicans have, have done so well, uh, like you pointed out, over the last seven years, not just this election, uh, is because the left has moved further left. Uh, and that's not popular with, with a lot of the people, even in the middle. So uh, the Democrats are realizing now that no matter how much money they throw at bad policies, they're not going to win. But again, yeah. and, and look at what Karen Handel ran on. She ran on a Donald Trump platform. She ran very close to Donald Trump, and she ran promoting some of the same things, from repealing Obamacare to tax reform to building a wall. But uh, those are the policies that are winning. This is not our parents' JFK Democrat Party. And I'll tell you, the voters out there may not have, some of them may not have liked her, you know, there, she doesn't have the progressive kind of social, mes social message that some voters like, you know, on gay marriage or on birth control. Uh, she's pretty much to the, you know, to the right. But you know what's really interesting, Jeff? Uh, did the polls get it wrong again? I mean, before the race, it showed Handel and Ossoff nearly deadlocked. Uh, d here's the thing, Jeff. Let's show you this. As a reminder, how some other people reported on another race. Watch this. The ABC News tracking poll has Hillary Clinton up by 12. Over the weekend, an ABC News tracking poll of likely voters put Clinton 12 points in front of Donald Trump. No candidate down this far this late has ever recovered. Well, and President Trump saying, well, the special elections are over. Those who want to make America great again, they're 5-0. and oh. It's really 4-0. Oh. I mean, so the polls, again, show that you really can't trust them, right? No, and I think a lot of campaign consultants around the country are scratching their head right now trying to figure out how the polls can be very wrong. I will say this, depending on which pollster you hire, you will get different results. And so it always leads you to believe that somebody can play with the numbers uh, to, to get the result they want because the polls seem to be moving further away from reality. But reality is this, that the pendulum is not swinging back anytime soon to the establishment and to the do-nothing policies of the past. You know, the I'll American tell you public spoke with Donald yeah. Trump, and they spoke again now. You know, they you, want action. Right, and here's the point. Both Reagan and Bill Clinton worked with the opposition, and the opposition mm -hmm. could then take credit if the economy started moving again. Jeff, you know this. Reagan kept a sign on his desk that read as follows. There's no limit to what a man can do or where he can, or where he can go if he does not mind sharing the credit with the other side. So now we've got the blue dog Democrats Jeff, we know, and you've said this, they're an endangered species of blue dog Democrats. They're yes. a dying breed. These are the moderate Democrats. You could fit them in a phone booth, probably. I think there are 18 of them. They met with President Trump's economic team to talk about tax reform, right? So, Jeff, is that a yes. positive development? You know, I think it's a very positive development because what everybody really wants deep down, the, the average American voter just wants everyone to get the, get the policies done, to get tax reform done, really to move the country forward. That's what everybody wants deep down. They don't want the games and the partisanship. So, um, you know, I commend the Blue Dogs that are coming over now saying we've got to do something different because, really, they're going to be an endangered species if they don't work to get something done. They come from districts where people want them to get to work along with the administration as well. So um, you're seeing this now. You're right. seeing the Dem Democrat Party in such disarray that they're coming over now. You know, the Democrats, all they have left in their playbook uh, is to go to a safe space, have a group hug, and blame Russia. And, and they've got to learn to move past that. And as a lifelong Republican, I'm glad that's all they, they know how to do. 
But, uh, but you it's do very want good to, for you do want right a now. wait a minute. You do want a strong Democrat party. You need a strong opposition party. The way this system is now, it's broken. I don't think it's healthy for the country to have the Democrats in such disarray. You need to have good, solid debate. Go ahead, Jeff. Well, we we need good, solid debate, but we also need is is, is fresh blood in Washington yeah. because. When we keep electing the same people, we get the same result. No one's happy with it. So uh, on both sides of the aisle, I think both parties really, there, there's an anti-incumbent wave. There's no question about that. Uh, and that's why you look at someone like Donald Trump getting elected, yeah. having uh, no political background. That's what we want. We want to do things differently. The American public wants Donald Trump. They want Congress to rally around Donald Trump and to get something done. And I think, you know, I don't know how many times they have to speak before Congress wakes up and starts working with the president. Yeah, that's a good point. But it make. is time now yeah. to work with the president. Underneath that gridlock is decades of incumbency. They've been insulting each other for years since the Nixon era. How yeah. can they get anything done? Jeff, you're terrific. Thanks for coming on. See you Thanks, soon, Liz. I hope. Democrats, again, they lost big time. They suffered a crushing defeat. Cost them $26 billion.